the everyone, and yet again, welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3. This will in fact be the eighth campaign that I will undertake in the mod Napoleon Total War 3. With that, let's continue on to the nation selection. So, as per usual, I allow you guys to suggest and then vote on the top five suggestions. And in this case... You had the option in no particular order, Great Britain, Kingdom of Sweden, Kingdom of Italy, the smaller German states, and then the fifth choice, which is the one that ended up winning with over 40% of the votes, namely the Pontific States. We're gonna play as the Pope. Now, the game provides you with a number of victory conditions, I say number of them, you need to conquer three territories in the south of Italy. And I feel as though we need to be a little bit more grandiose in our designs. So I have devised three victory conditions of my own. Firstly, unite Italy. We need to make sure that the Pope takes all of it. Secondly, we need to oust Napoleon and crush the French Revolution. We are the bastion of conservatism and the French Revolutionaries and Napoleon himself as well have not been particular kind. Napoleon has been a little bit better than the Revolutionaries because he's not out right out to cut our throats, but he still just kind of forces us to be a tool in one of his uh, designs and that is not what we are about. And for my third one, which is a little bit optional depending on how the campaign goes, is to reconquer Constantinople. It needs to fall into the Mother Church once more. And with that, I think we're gonna go... go <laughs> and with that, I think we'll go ahead and start. Now, this is version 9.4 which technically doesn't have a brand macborn sub mod yet but i've used the 9.3 so we'll see how that if that actually worked or not possibly not but for those it's recommended to go for let's go for very hard in terms of battle difficulty and then go for hard in terms of campaign because on the battlefield I'm hard to defeat. On the campaign map, if the enemy... I don't want to end up in a situation like we did with the Ottoman Empire, where we were kind of swarmed by everyone and destroyed. So I don't really want anything like that. I want this, there actually to be a more of a chance of victory. With that said, it's time for us to start on our glorious quest in the name of God. Right. So we've joined in on the world map. First things first, we need as much money as we can. So we're going to go ahead and start the trade to the north with the Kingdom of Italy. We're not, we can start as well against uh, uh, Napoli, Sicily. <laughs> they're, oh, they're the same. There's, it's the same country, but uh, the, that's kind of odd. Anyways, we're not going to trade with them because obviously we're going to war with them as soon as possible. Um, and to that end, we need to start building up the army. Currently, this is the disposition of the army. We're going to need a lot more infantry. I'm thinking first run, we're just going to do line infantry. Then, in the next one, I'm going to do uh, voltageers and grenadiers. And after that, we'll do cavalry and cannons. Also, we're going to need a general. Pompeo Gabrelli seems fine. I, we do have a few others to choose from. This guy looks rather odd. He's got a very long and complicated name. And it looks like he's coming straight out of the Renaissance. I know we're the Catholic Church and we're pretty conservative. But I don't think we're that conservative. Not yet, anyways. So we got the general there. We're going to go ahead and build roads. In terms of what we build here, though, the obvious choice would be a college. But I wonder, most of these, how useful are they? 
I would only really want to go for... I mean, most of this... I mean, military, I guess. Military or oh, minus unhappiness for everything. That's not great. I mean, a lot of these aren't actually great. And... I don't know, how do we stand in terms of happiness? It's pretty okay, but I wonder what it's going to do to conquered territories. For now, I think we're just going to spend everything on the army. I mean, we're, um, God made us perfect to start with, so we don't need to improve, do we? With that, ah yes, are we... What kind of are we? Are we... We should be a absolute monarchy. Yes, then I can switch and choose however I want. Uh, does anyone have ev anything? Army has a knighthood. Treasury should actually be for the navy. We don't have a navy. I guess we got some kind of pontoon floating up and down here. And in terms of these guys, no one has anything. So I'm just going to... Go through everything and hoping once we get the new batch. And I got Umberto Casanova as my chief counselor. Might not work well with uh, the Pope to have a Casanova in charge uh, as the prime minister or the chief counselor in this case. Um, right. As it is right now, I think we're just going to go ahead and end turn until the army is ready. And then we'll fight the Battle of Naples. And after that, we'll end the video. So with that said, let's go ahead and end turn. And so after a while we're back, I have been able to build up the army. So at this point, I have 8 line infantry, 4 grenadiers and 4 voltageers. One 12 pounder, one cavalry unit, and general. We're waiting on one more cannon. However, I note that the enemy has been building up as well. I guess anticipating my attack. So I think we better move as soon as possible. At the same time, there's been some movement on the big stage of Europe. Where the um, Austrians moved in and took over Milan. Which means that I'm now trading with the Austrians instead. But at the same time, as the French getting kind of beat down here in Italy, they are moving fast forward up here. And they have been able to subjugate Baden-Württemberg and uh, Munich, Bavaria. And we can even see that the army that is currently holding up in Vienna is tattered. And I don't know where the where Napoleon's armies are, but they could be close enough to threaten Vienna at this point. But none of that concerns us that much right now. What concerns us is to make sure that all of Italy falls under the command of the Pope. So we'll go ahead and declare war. On the kingdom of Nap um, Nap Na Naples, Sicily. And in turn they will drag in the kingdom of Sicily, Naples. Um, we'll go ahead and fight those. I wonder, I guess there's some limitation in the way you mod it. That you can't reduce nations like that. Um, but there we go. Let's go ahead and move in for the first battle. The enemy has quite the formidable army. They have three grenadiers. They have a number of uh, different veteran line infantry. And even some light and voltageers of their own. And two cavalry units. So they outnumber me in cavalry. But a large part of their army is local partisans in the militia. So I think we stand a pretty good chance. There's only about a 400 man difference. So I say we have a pretty good chance. The enemy... Uh, you know what? Let's not speculate here. Let's go into the battle and see if we can't win ourselves. The first battle of this series. And there it is. The Pope's army. As we can see, 
uh, as I was trying to prepare my army, the enemy decided to very rudely send one of their cavalry units against us. They have fallen, and unfortunately, quite a few of my troops fell in the process due to friendly fire. Not that the enemy killed a single one of us. So we've got four voltageers, followed by eight line infantry, the cannons, and then I'm going to bring in a grenadier brigade from the side and thinking I'm going to swing them in and crush the enemy that way. Also, we have the cavalry over here on the left flank. And since they have foolishly sent a cavalry unit against us, they now only have one. But before we go ahead and start the battle, I just want to show that I had a uh, frequent viewer that said, you know what, you should go ahead and name like a few units after your premium members and uh, we can kind of follow these special units as they go through um, the campaign. So I think that would be interesting. At the current, I have six premium members, so I have named six units. And if we start over on the left, I should say here, because some of you might have really strange names, I have altered them slightly to make them a little bit more fitting for the um, period. So we start off with uh, the cavalry, which is uh, led by Curetto. If that's how you're gonna pronounce it, or Siretto uh, is uh, leading the dragoons. It might be easier actually if I named, uh, set them as like the first dragoons, Siretto. So that we, it might be easier just to say first dragoons than to say Siretto every time. Um, then next up, it's one of the voltageers that I've named the Isadores. Which might be sounding a little bit more Spanish, but maybe we have Spanish mercenaries. Um, and then, I believe, the rest of them were all in the Grenadier uh, section. So we got the Lesier of the Papal States Grenadieri. We have Diarona as the um, another Grenadier. And then Forcume. And lastly, the 24th. So these are all adaptations of members' names. Oh, shit, I forgot to hold the cannon. Um, that could have gone badly. Anyways, let's uh, kick off the battle then, when I've now been smooching up the uh, my premium members. I wonder... I want to kind of use, the thing is, I was, I used the artillery very early on, set it up, but I felt like, you know, we all know the canister is the um, king of the day in the Poland Total War 3, so why not use it up close with the enemy? So we're going to drag it up close and fire canister on them. Early on, I was able to actually get a lucky hit when I had deployed it very early on, and uh, I destroyed... One of the batteries, and the other one uh, decided to leave. So that in that regard, we have a great start. If I switch to canister, it re almost reaches the enemy. But I feel as though, like even at this range, I'm sure the enemy will move forward and actually meet us. We'll move the grenadiers a little bit further. Oh, now they're starting to move, actually. So I'll go ahead and immediately deploy. We're going to halt the voltageers early on here. I do not know what my line infantry is all about. I We're going to have these three move like that. They keep switching. Like in the middle of marching, they keep switching position. Which is pretty odd. Like suddenly this guy, which obviously is supposed to be out here, is suddenly wanting to go here. And th there's been multiple locations of stuff like this happening. Oh, they're going straight for my cannons right now. Um, Grenade Brigade needs to be moving in immediately. And the general coming in to support here. So we're already blasting them with canister, but they're coming on very strong towards us here. We have opened fire. 
enemy has been spotted over here. I will detach these three to kind of act on their own. And I will take two voltageers to turn this way. And the cavalry will move slightly to the side like that to be able to move in later on. Okay, the grenadiers are now coming under fire. I will stop two of them. The other two will continue forward. Um, artillery is taking some hits. I feel like if I fire through there, I might be able to get canister going through both these. I feel like, you know what, we're going to move these like that. And that way I can get these two to open fire. And then we've got these three that will open fire. So now we've got all the fire going. You will turn a little bit so you get better sights on them. And then we've moved the Grenadier Brigade like that. So after this battle, I will be naming them like first Grenadier, second Grenadier, third Grenadier, fourth Grenadier, and then first Dragoons, and then first uh, Light Infantry. If the Light Infantry are able to survive this, as I... They're barely able to run away from the charge. Wait, they're charging across the entire line, it looks like. As uh, the Voltageers pull back, the uh, line infantry will open up. Good volleys all around. All right. Light infantry has made it safe through the lines. What I'm thinking here is that they should be moving towards the flank over here. The enemy um, is unable to break through. And quite a few of them are in full retreat. We have a melee breaking out in the center here. What I could do is actually hold the light infantry in the center. You know what? There's so many running here. That I want to push capture these with my cavalry. Ooh. You're not doing hot, are you? Can I turn canister this way? Why haven't my grenadiers been able to break these? Alright, we want to keep pushing here. And now my cavalry comes in. Strikes. Yeah, look at this. So, I ordered these guys forward. This regiment decides it's going to switch place all of a sudden. Which uh, is stupid as hell. You are not doing well. And currently you're getting fired up the flank that I do not know what to do really with you. You know what, we're going to move these like that and you're going to form square. I was unable to break these the way I wanted. The Dragoons will break off. But they will continue to pursue the retreating troops instead. Oh, I, I formed these guys into square, but the cavalry actually went after this unit. Your charge worked, surprisingly. And we have a large portion of the enemy army now in full retreat. Canister is a little bit dangerous now, so I will hold fire with those. And then I will be ordering these guys forward. Light infantry part in aiding in that fight. The light infantry will continue on to the side. Drop the square, move into line. Alright, let's fix these lines a little bit. So you can focus in on this regiment right here. Cannons. Uh, we're going to have to move them together with the rest of the army. Grenadiers holding up. Starting to fire over there. You're moving through. Let's keep away from uh, musket fire and keep you just chasing. You know, I want these guys as soon as possible to aid here. So I'm going to actually form them into line and take part in the fighting. And we're going to do the same here. Form line, move into uh, the fighting right there. 
Then you will be moving here. Our men are running. And you will cover the flank. Who is breaking? Over there. Alright. The general will go up and shore up this area. But first he needs to hold here because uh, we've got a bloody bayonet charge going on. The voltageers will help, the little voltageer company there will help out a lot by being able to deliver quite the deadly volleys onto the enemy. Cannon, we're gonna roll it up right, they managed to win that. We're sending the general over here and we're gonna plug the gap. The enemy regiments here have been on a wild goose chase after the cavalry, which is still active. They are now in a good position to move out, set up, and then run through uh, the first grenadiers of the enemy. If it wasn't for the fact that they're already turning to facing me. Right, the general is here is lending his support to the troops. And we got the lines firing all around. What we want to do here is, let's have the grenadiers march forward and take the fight to this one and then you will turn up like that as you move forward here since we've got three here there's no Our way these guys can focus on all three at the same time so we got plenty of troops to move forward here okay so we've got a break here which is not what I foresaw you will go into skirmish and cover that area Right, the Grenadiers moving in on our flank here. Drop back a little bit and move into skirmish. The cavalry is going to make its attack. I'm hoping to catch them here before they are managed to form a proper line against me. Which it looks like I'm able to do. And caught out of proper formation, the Grenadier Regiment is absolutely cut to pieces. But as we're having like difficult... Oh, their cavalry came back. Luckily, the Voltageers held on. That is the Isadors. So we already now have like an epic moment for a name regiment. Where they are able to hold on against... Uh, managed to see off that cavalry charge cavalry goes in starts breaking up the enemy formations we are almost at the point of a general rout for the enemy right, there's no one in this gap so let's organize this a little bit better I don't think the cannons will catch up so I will set them up for uh, round shot. Light infantry will start to turn towards the road. Continue forward. These guys are tired. They're running into gunfire. They will uh, double back and go for the troops over here. Alright, good job by these Adores. Able to hold off that cavalry charge we are not in the business of assassination so I'm not gonna go after the enemy general instead we're gonna go for the um, infantry units over here we're gonna soften them up a little bit by uh, firing uh, a few volleys towards them Their bloody voltageers have uh, gained a chevron. Okay, my infantry is marching into their general. I mean, if he doesn't move when I march straight onto him, it's his own bloody fault if he ends up dying. General is needed over here as we're meeting stiff resistance by the enemy over there. We're probably shooting quite a few of our own Isadors, so quite a few of our cavalry as well. I'm gonna order infantry charge over here. General's gonna move to the side. The, 
cannons over here, they have nothing to fire at. The, fl the ground is too flat to do anything. The cavalry has been riding down tons of them. I want the cavalry to swing around, see if we can get more of them over here. Now we got this one breaking. We got them all on the run now. Now it's just for these voltageers to break down the one regiment, the one holdout. Actually, well, besides the bloody general. Maybe I should fire cannon on him. Show him what's what. The enemy's in full retreat. You're winded, but I feel like we keep these running. We win the bloody battle. I gain ground on these bastards and make sure that they run. Did the general fire? Oh, it's the Isadores that are firing at him. This is the final part. Second line infantry, light infantry. Versus three of my voltageers. They're forced into retreat. And I believe that's it, like, ge gentlemen. We won ourselves our first battle. Unless there's a hidden unit that I have somehow missed somewhere. Clearly I should have been... Oh, the, it's that general. Alright. As much as I... Uh, didn't want to kill him. We're going to have to uh, send him away. The cavalry... Is going to chase down his bodyguard. And try to just force him off the field. And we'll see if we... Uh, end up killing him or not. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can find him. There he is. Alright. We, um... We made sure that he realized the game's up. And there we are. We are victorious. Now... Let's take stock of our casualties as we end the battle. Sir. Sir, our general is under attack.
And we are victorious. As we can see, we lost quite a lot of our army. We lost about 40% of it. As we lost uh, 2,000 men out of 5,000 men deployed. The enemy deployed 5,500. Lost everything. They managed to kill 1,800 of us, meaning we killed about 180 of our own. Which probably went a lot on the first part, but then again, we were advancing on a lot of areas into each other's field of fire. When it comes down to it, Dragoons killed the most, chasing down a lot. Followed by Line Infantry, followed by Cannon, followed by Line Infantry, followed by Voltageers. I imagine these are the Isadors. And yes, there we have it. <laughs> Naples has fallen to us. Now, area is very unhappy. I'm hoping though, as we uh, go ahead and rebuild these, this is this one's going to give us two plus replenish uh, rep uh, repre <laughs> repression, and this one's going to give us four. So that would make that six. There's still a little bit for the lower populace, but if I exempt them from tax, that should be enough to hold the area without having receiving a bloody revolt. We will be receiving an extra cannon. And then what I might do is actually get five units of militia marching down to take over after the army because we're gonna get ha still have a uh, we're gonna need something to hold this in place as the army needs to move forward. Now we get really poor uh, replenishment here, but I hope that changed once the drill school gets online, or I could make this into a supply depot. In which case we're able to increase that quite a bit. We got a vineyard, but most importantly, we captured the port of Taranto. Which means that now I am able to trade on the big stage. Now in terms of who likes us, the answer is no one. Except Spain. Uh, so I think we want to continue that by setting up trade with Spain. We're going to work to our strengths and loyal ally in Spain. We're going to set up trade so we can increase that happiness a bit more. And then I want to uh, make sure that we keep Great Britain away from our shores. So we're going to go ahead and set up trade with them and hopefully we can be a little bit more friendly with the British. And so hopefully... They'll stay away from naval invasions. I've got plenty of money even after repairing this. So I think we're going to build up the port even further. We can build merchant ships. And there are quite a bit of different uh, prominent spots here. Especially Spice on Valletta. What will that do for me? In terms of... Uh, spice is 10... Sugar is better, but ivory is the best. Sugar is 12. I mean, it's still the third most expensive item here. We do have coffee. Coffee. We're going for this. How many am I limited to? Three. I'm going to start building on three at, right, at, right away. Where do we get ivory? Uh, we get furs away here. Usually you get ivory over here, right? Somewhere there's ivory from Cameroon. And then there's this will be one more as well. We get ivory from there, but Spain already has that one. We'll go for the spices. We'll go for the spice. But well, with that, I think that's a good start. We have taken over another area under our control. We just expanded the Papal State by adding 4.5 million people. We were about 2 million before, so now we're 7 million. That's pretty good. Now we just need to make sure that they they stay under our control and they accept their Pope as their new rightful Lord as we move on and expand and uh, unify Italy 
under the one Mother Church. With that said, we're going to go ahead and end it right here. So, I will say, as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye. Bye.